Coming right up, Dick Clark's American Bandstand. He's done thousands of these shows, and he's going to keep on doing them until he gets one right. <laughs> We got a group today. We're gonna have the new year of 1977 brings good things for you today. The number one band in Australia, the Little River Band, will be here. The lady who sings "Love Me," one of the biggest songs of the day. Lovely Miss Eva. Hey, 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 oh, wait, hey. Wait. Everything comes to a halt when I hear that familiar voice. Well, this is easy for you, man, but uh, I'm not well. You know, I mean, uh, anybody around here got any aspirins? Well, uh, aren't you, my friend, the reporter from Boogie Magazine, Rod? Mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm. And the reporter from Boogie has a headache, man, from Boogie. What, were you out till late last night or something like that? No, Cecil, man. I mean, I was, I was out till early this morning. I mean, you know that song, Shake Your Booty? Yeah. Well, I shook it so much, I lost my booty. <laughs> you, you're kidding me now, right? So if anybody out there finds a booty rolling around the floor, it happens to be mine, you know what I mean? May I say, I can... Assume then that you're not going to dance with us today, is that it? That's right, man. Not today, not tomorrow, yeah, right. not next week, right, Rodney. not next month, cool it, quiet. not next year, steady, not next century. You stay right there. And not we'll next. And we'll be right back. Not next oh, week. Yeah. Gotcha, man. This is it, Rolls Royce. Any wonder it spanned 76 to 77. That's it. We got a great group coming up. I got to remind you for the next four weeks, don't forget Friday night, February 4th, here on ABC, American Bandstand celebrates its 25th anniversary with a two hour special Friday, February 4th. More coming up in a second. Really so, good. Mm. Rod, how, how are you and the ladies doing these days? How are the ladies treating you? No, I've given up on chicks, Mr. C. I mean, after that one I was with last night, woo. <laughs> what was wrong with her? There was nothing wrong, man. I mean, she was fantastic, really different, you know? Mm. I mean, I could feel myself just being pulled right into her arms. You mean she had that sort of animal magnetism, Rod? Huh? No, I mean, she was a magnet. I mean, I didn't hear bells when we <laughs> kissed. I mean, just a big, loud clank when we slammed together, you know? That's what you call, Rod, getting stuck on somebody. <laughs> You're cute, Dick. 
but you're old. Oh, 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 you're old. Cut me to the quick. Now, will you, will you behave? Just sit there for a second. I was talking to these guys, and they're on their way home for the holidays. Home for them is Australia. Now, you already know that the New Year's come and gone, and uh, we tape record ahead of time, but they've got a 20-hour flight ahead. They've got an album that, if it were the uh, American Music Awards here in this country, would have been the number one album of the year in Australia, similar award, and they sound just great. Ladies and gentlemen, the Little River Band. Fantastic. Let me jump in here. Glenn Shark, welcome. Before you guys take off for home, can we cast a little light over here and slowly run around the group and meet everyone who is the gentleman to our right? Sort of a hello, goodbye, is that right? Yes, fast in and out. <laughs> okay. Uh, on guitar is uh, David Briggs from Melbourne. 
And the gentleman right behind him? Is uh, George McArdle on base. Oh, with the Cubs uniform on? That's a little weird. He's been collecting a few things. And let's see, over here? Over here on the drums, from uh, originally from London, West Ham, now from Melbourne, Derek Polici. Right. And the gentleman over here, please? This is uh, V. Bertels, originally from Amsterdam and now from Australia with the rest of us. Amsterdam, Holland. Right. And on the end? And Graham Goble. All right. Where's Graham from, by the way? He's from Adelaide. Uh, we all live in Melbourne now. We're all from different parts of the world, and we all came to Melbourne. Yeah. Now, how many weeks did you... Let me, let me switch around a little bit. Yeah. How many weeks did you spend in the United States? Um, we've been touring quite solidly for about nine weeks now. Have yeah. you seen various parts of the country at all? Oh, yes. We started over in the east of America and slowly worked our way to the west. Now, you've got to come back in the summertime because this is a whole entirely different thing. KK, you just disappeared behind all of this. Hold on. <laughs> this is Miss... What are you, Salt Lake City? Yes. You won the pageant there? Yes. Oh, wow. Well. Congratulations. KK, what does this mean? You're going gonna to leave us now? Yeah, for a year. <laughs> <laughs> for how long? Just until June. I have to start leaving my way in January 1. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. That's nice. Thank you. This is the lady I first saw in Jesus Christ Superstar on the stage. And then you undoubtedly saw her in the film of the same name. Or if you've been to an Eric Clapton concert re recently, you've seen her there. Or for any reason, you lived in London for a while, she uh, performed there. She has an extraordinary background and a great voice. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Yvonne Elliman. <laughs> Just a little. 
you for joining us. You know, you sing so well and look so pretty. Let me take that dumb thing away and I'll just put it in my pocket and we'll use this one. Did you originally live in Hawaii? Yes, I did. I was born there and I grew up for 17 years and I left, went to London. Why did you go to London? Because uh, there was a small time agent who said that he liked my voice and he said the streets were paved with gold. And you believed all of that? Yeah, I made my fortune, he said. And of course I went there and there was nothing, you know. Was... I am under the impression, and I find out now that it's wrong, that you were in Jesus Christ Superstar forever. Uh, it wasn't a long time. It was four years. Uh... Well, oh, on Broadway, though, it was oh, a short no, time. No, 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 for six months. I got it. And, Is that uh, dull? It was rather because it was repetitious. I mean, my understudy loved me because I played so much hooky. You, know? <laughs> you, you got sick a lot. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Are you, is it fair to say that you are a regular member of the Eric Clapton group? I mean, you are a regular player? Mm. Yeah, I've been with the band for two and a half years now. You like that sort of thing? I love his music. Yeah, I love the man. Yeah. Helps both ways. Uh, it, it is impossible. Two, two and a half months ago in the fall of now last year, 1976, right here on this very floor before your very eyes with those funny rubber bands, they introduced this song. These are the spinners. Thank you very much. Hey, oh, I must tell you, all next week, see you on the $20,000 pyramid. And for now, we'll let Barry Manilow say, We're going hopping, we're going hopping today, where things are popping, a beautiful Delphi way, we're going to drop it on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand, bandstand, bandstand. We'll see you the next time on VH1's Best of American Bandstand. Bandstand.